Hi. Um, I was wondering if someone could help me with a quick question I had. Okay, sure. Do you have a minute? Uh, yeah. Okay, or well. We have a meeting going on at the, minute, at the moment. That's oh, fine. do you want me to just try back later? Um, no, that's okay. Go, go ahead. You sure? Go ahead. Oh, okay. It, right, yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I like how they have different um, Bible versions on the website, jw.org. Um, I know you guys are um, favorable to the King James Version, right? Yep. That's right. Oh, okay. I just uh, – go ahead. Go ahead. What, what did you say? Sorry. Well, no, I was going to say that we actually uh, printed it, uh, uh, our own uh, copies of it for public distribution since the 1940s. So, yeah. We've wow. 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 Um, okay, well, I was just I was just taking advantage of that and reading um, in the King James, and I just came across this verse. I just wondered what you thought about it. Um, it's First Timothy three sixteen, mm-hmm. and it um, it said, "Do you want me to read it, or do you want to find it?" Or uh, hang on, just a oh, okay, a, a okay. Okay. First Timothy chapter three. Yeah, sixteen. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. So, are you looking at the King James version? Yeah. Mhm. Okay. Yeah, I don't have that on this tablet at the moment, but uh, if you'd like to read that, go ahead. Oh, okay. It says, "And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels." preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, and received up into glory. Right. So, um, do you guys believe in that verse? Well, we believe everything that the scriptures say. Okay, because it says that God was manifest in the flesh. You know, that's the doctrine of the incarnation that many Christians believe in. Right. Well, it's uh, something that I'd have to do a little more research mm-hmm. to give you accurate answer uh, as to why uh, different translations translated differently. Obviously, one has to look at uh, the entire uh, inspired scriptures because it is one book, and uh, mm. we have to make sure that our understanding of it is in harmony with uh, the fight whole the mm. Bible is. So maybe, uh, if you don't mind, I, I could take your phone number and get some information for you about that. Sure. Also, you know, John one one is different. I noticed in the King James. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right too. Yeah. Do, do they change theology. verses to kind of coincide with their theology, or? No. Kind of what it seems like. Our, I can understand why that might be. Mm-hmm. But the the reasons why uh, different translation decisions are made have to do with uh, what the Bible says as a whole and uh, what the uh, the actual original language has to say. How, how could those how could those people on that committee know what the original language has said? They weren't really experts. I mean, some of them, most of them didn't know Greek at all. And um, what gives you that opinion? Well, that, that's, been, that's been made known now, I mean, for a long time, who they were. By whom? Um, mainly by Raymond Franz, who used to be on the governing body, and and people have confirmed, you know, what he said. But anyways, um, huh? No, uh, are you calling from locally or? No, no. I just just hope to get someone random. But um, yeah, they, yeah. I I don't know why they even call it. I mean, translating means you have to know a language really well. You know, it's not just putting together things from other people. And you know, if you if you call me back, could you also find out why they use a man named Johannes Grieber as a reference for John one one? Do you know about him? 
I have heard of him, yes. Yeah. I, I would wonder why they would use a person like him. You know, I have, I've seen his other book. It's called Communication with the Spirit World. It's an odd kind of reference. That, so. Yeah. <laughs> and they they did know he was into that. Um, so, sure, it's Christine. It's Christine. 